to lanes 51 and 52. Our number five qualifier will be competing for his second career lifetime PBA Tour title. He's a winner at the Masters from Urbandale, Iowa. The number five qualifier, Tom Hess. His opponent in the opening match is looking for his first PBA Tour title. He represents Canada. Dan, the man, McClellan. The winner of that match will get the number three seed looking for his first PBA Tour title out of Avon, Ohio. CeeLo, Chris Lopeshedder. Awaiting in the semifinal match will be the number two seed from Double Oak, Texas. Looking for his 15th career PBA Tour title, Chris Barnes. <laughs> the survivor will face the tournament leader, the number one seed from Orange, New South Wales, Australia. Looking for his sixth PBA Tour title. Jason, Amazi. Your top five finalists in the CBS Sports Network telecast of the Lucas Oil PBA Bear Open. Feels fantastic. The uh, to cap the summer swing off with a uh, with a really great performance on the toughest pattern of them all. It's very rewarding. I'm really happy with my performance. Well, through the entire tournament, I used pretty much the uh, 37 balls I had in the paddock. I used pretty much all of them. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, this, the pattern was brutal. And just when you think you get locked in with something, you, you have to change to something else. I, uh, I started with IQ Tour Pearls. I went to High Roads. I went to Wreckers. I balled up to Lucids. I went all the way down to uh, Shatters. Um, the only thing I didn't throw was my spare ball at the head pin, but there are a few times where I thought I should. Um, but, you know, and that's what makes the US Open flat pattern so, in so in in impossible to understand is because topography comes into it a lot more, the way people break those pairs down come into it, and just when you think you've got something, it can go like that. I'm just, I bowled really, really well tonight. Uh, Del Ballard drilled me a, um, a wrecker with a pin above. We had one pin down. Um, we were talking and we thought, you know what, maybe we just get a little length out of that ball. If I need a loft or left gutter, I can trust that it's going to continue. And it's exactly what it did. So uh, I'm going to give Del a big hug later on. I, I Obviously, this had helped to win Player of the Year. Um, but the season is so long because the, the World Series of Bowling is still attached to the end of this season. So there's so much more bowling left to do before I start to even think about the player of the year. But if I win this one, and I do well at the uh, the US Open and the World Series, I'm gonna be pretty pretty tough to beat for that uh, player of the year. Well, he, uh, today I noticed a little bit of a change in the lanes and I told him that I wouldn't be afraid to try a wrecker because it looked like it was easier to, that you needed to get the ball down the lane to a spot and have it hooked. And all week we've been going with smooth, smoother continuation, smoother continuation. And this morning, just looked like they were crispy, a lot more crispy. And all the earlier rolling balls and smoother were actually too smooth when we got it to the right and too early when we got it in. So I just said, don't be afraid to go to something longer and, and try to bounce it off the spot. And I didn't know if he heard me or not, but he switched to a wrecker and just bombed him. And then we drilled him a pinup wrecker for tonight, and he just smoked them with it. The, the, the issue is they're using two lane machines, one for the left lane, one for the right lane. And the left lanes are hooking, I mean, almost where you need to use two different balls, one for each lane. I mean, it's, it's that drastic. Yesterday, there were a little bit, you know, a couple of the players are saying there's a couple of boards. But today, it seemed like every time they strip an oil, it just got worse and worse and worse. So to me, you know, they were brutal, not only pair to pair, but lane to lane. Yeah, uh, Loesch used a different company ball this morning and, and bowled really well for his eight games and then switched tonight because his ball was too early and not hooking enough down lane. So he switched to Marvel Pearl and it rolled great. Uh, he stayed in third. He went from leader to third, but really fought hard and Marvel Pearl and, and high roads.